Come on, where are they? Don't tell me they got scared off by the stories again. It's hard enough to show this house to people, let alone sell it. There they are, thank God. Hey, nice to finally meet you in person. Ready to get started? Hmm? Oh, yeah, this is the place. I know it might look a little outdated, but that's all part of its rustic charm. A house like this doesn't get on the market very often. Usually they pass from relative to relative. It's hard to find one you can actually buy. Oh, well, the folks that inherited this place didn't want to live here. City folks, you know. Didn't want to uproot their kids and whatnot. You get it. So, let's head in. Hmm? No, no one's in there right now. You saw someone in the window. Uh, must have just been the reflection of the trees on the glass. I can assure you, no one is in there. Now, follow me. This house is just gorgeous, isn't it? The Gothic architecture is stunning. The hinges need a bit of grease, for sure, but this door is rock solid. And the foyer makes a great first impression, don't you think? The chandelier. It might sway a touch from the wind coming in, but it's not a huge issue. And don't you worry, we've made sure all the wiring is up to code. It'll be an easy replacement if you want a different light fixture. And here's the living room, the real heart of the house. These big windows do provide a lot of natural light. This is a great space for entertaining. And I'm sure a young professional such as yourself would have many get-togethers making use of it. Hmm? The furniture. Well, the sellers are willing to include it with... Oh, it looks like someone's sitting in it. Uh, well, these chairs have been well used over the years. It's only reasonable to expect they'd lose shape. We're willing to remove the furniture, if you prefer. Anyway, to the dining room. Again, a perfect space to entertain. You can fit quite a few people in here. I was told that the previous owners often hosted Christmas dinner for the entire family at this very table. Whoa, look out! Uh, that was close. Caught it just in time. Are you alright? Yeah, these, uh, fancy plates. They look great on display, but keeping them up so high can be dangerous when you don't make sure they're properly secured. Not to worry, you're unharmed and this plate isn't broken. I'll just, uh, leave it on the table here. Now let's check out the kitchen! As you can see, it's well fitted for family cooking needs. It's well up to modern standards. The previous owners did some... renovations. Oh my goodness. That knife must have fallen out of the knife block. What are the odds? Yes, straight down. It's really not all that unlikely. They do bounce, you know. Nothing to worry about. Now, here's something I think you'll like. The washer and dryer are right here. In most houses like this, you'd have to trek all the way to the basement to do your laundry, but this is much more convenient. And this closet can fit a rather large pair of machines in it. Just look at all the space in the washer. Oh dear. Uh, nothing to worry about. The red water is just the result of rust from disuse, I'm sure. And I'm sure you'll probably want to replace these old appliances anyway. They're a bit too vintage. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's move on. How about we take a look upstairs? On the left is the bathroom. It's got a full bath and a... Uh, w one second. Seems the house inspector left a bit of a mess in here. One moment. Seriously, writing get out on the mirror? How cliche can you be? Okay, all good. Please, take a look. What do you think? You want to see the master bedroom? Uh, well, uh, let's save the best for last and check out the guest bedroom first. As you can see, this... Hmm? Oh, no. No one's sleeping in the bed. Of course not. The blankets are just bunched up a bit. Must have been that house inspector again. See? Smooths out completely flat. Anyway, there's ample extra storage space in here. You still want to see the master bedroom? Of course. Right this way. 
Here we are. Uh, yes, the bed may be, uh, floating. It's, uh, one of those modern anti-gravity beds. Duck! Not to worry, it was just a pillow this time. Uh, wait, no need to be hasty. The house is really quite lovely. Please don't leave now. Ugh. Always with the master bedroom. Even duct taping that damn bed down didn't work. Gah! Okay, I get it. I know you're pissed for some reason, but if you don't calm the hell down, this house is gonna get demolished. And worse, I won't get paid. Oh, come on. Look, I've got one more showing today. Can you please just behave? Damn it. You know in haunted house movies where the scary stuff only happens after the family moves in? That's unrealistic. The spooky stuff should be happening all the time.